and how is your morning today lawyer baby really good dear really really good i had a dream i need to wake up to yeah um but my mind ended up traveling somewhere else yeah, from all the languages last night so the family tree now how long have i been looking into this for you yeah? i've been looking into this for quite some time all right like, that's how i've got as far as i've got yeah um, the little bits of information that I've gathered up over the years, you see. But I just want to say, like, when you study these things, they make a big difference. Oh, did you take a DNA test? No, I didn't. I didn't. Um, this took really... Um, I'd say astrology did help. Astrology absolutely helped studying my family tree. Yeah, my natal birth chart. I actually did, all right. In what ways? Oh man, a lot, a lot, a lot. Cause I, I found links and connections. You see, to where some of these things come from, and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I've got a lot to say about astrology. You know, and I have. But when it comes to now, the, the actual family tree and the languages, like, yeah, just things that I gathered up over the years, and then, and then, yeah, even stuff I was dreaming about, guys, <laughs> that started making it more apparent studying her names as well and when it comes to symbols and symbology you know if it applies to you in it um the, that yeah depending on where you're from yeah it's gonna be different yeah but the more you start looking into these things you you find connections well what ended up actually happening today was chinese yeah chinese we got into vietnamese last night but one of the names, yeah, one of, one of my name meanings, yeah, means the fourth heavenly branch, yeah. So I started looking into this and then, um, yeah, the, 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 so I was saying the last name's Vietnamese, but it's not that far from China, you understand, yeah. So it descends, yeah, from, the name descends from the fourth heavenly branch, which is, yeah, Chinese calendar. Um, so I started looking into Chinese today, yeah, started looking into all this. Who was you seeing, Lorna? Stephen Hawkins. <laughs> I was seeing pictures of Stephen, um, Stephen Hawkins, like, he studied this. Stephen Hawkins studied, um, studied, uh, Chinese and clocks and calendars. He, he's smart. He was smart, people. Stephen Hawkins. Stephen Hawkins. I saw a film with him. But yeah, he studied um Yeah, he studied astrology, guys. <laughs> yeah. And um language and symbology and uh things like that, yeah. You, you see like that's what I'm saying, it's just well, let's let's not worry about the people that think it's silly, yeah. All right, but Stephen Hawkins, um, studied this as well, yeah. The 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 yin and the yang and the elements and the days and the months and and yeah, even days of the dead, yeah. What does all, what is the meaning of all this? You know what I'm saying? And what have you ended up finding, yeah? Looking into my name in particular. This also helped me in clairvoyance, you guys. It, it helped me understand how I should be moving. It gave me coordinates like that. That's why these things are good to study, yeah? And and that's as much as really I'm going to say about it, you know? And it's amazing. Um, It's amazing, yeah, for, for this. Um, yeah, personally, yeah. So, so I'm still going at this. Um. So, so what is it you've been drawn to now? Have you found yeah, in, in the Vietnamese and the Chinese? Well, see, the Vietnamese has took me to Chinese. But I'm drawn to things like... I seem to be drawn to things like heavenly stems. Yeah. And these kinds of charts, elements, yeah. Understanding how to to work with the elements in this in a completely different way now than I have, yeah? How was you working with elements before? 
with the use of the cross, yeah? The use of the cross. But, but when you start looking into these kind of symbols, yeah, a lot of them are, are um, you know, you, you're seeing similarities in these things you see, yeah? You know, like this. That's another thing I want to say to you, sir. So like I was saying to you with Indian people last night, I said, I think you want to stop, in it. Like, if you're taking the piss, you want to stop. Well, it's like this with the, with the Chinese guys, yeah? It's like this with the Chinese and the Vietnamese and, and so on, yeah? All right? Listen. Listen. He's he smarter than you, all right? <laughs> He's smarter than you. Um... So, yeah, um, this is amazing. What, what else do I want to say about these elements moving in these elements in a different way? What have these elements taught you? These elements have taught me in particular. Well, when, we, when, I, when I did the cross, yeah, the cross was telling me about emotions, yeah, emotions and even, um, even, um, yeah, the emotional body, yeah. Yeah, all, all of them, you see, there's four, four elements, yeah, all of them. And there's you, in it. Uh, the spirit, yeah. Father, son, Holy Spirit. Manifesting power. But, uh, I say, like, the uh, emotions, especially, yeah. The emotions. When I start looking into into the, the, the heavenly stems, yeah, when, when it comes to... When it comes to now Chinese clocks, yeah, and symbology in this way, the elements in this way, these seem to be teaching me about life path. This is what I found in life path, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's very, very interesting, yeah. So, so, so when you do and um, when you do, I do and study, yeah. When you do and study these things, guys. I would suggest that you understand what it is that you are being drawn to, yeah? Take note of that, like we was doing in the native languages last night. Take note of what you're being drawn to. And, you know, in regard to your own family tree, you, your own heritage, really that's going to help you, yeah, understand you, yeah, a lot better. It is, yeah. It is. That's just a fact, like. That's just a fact. This is why we look into ourselves. Because, listen, look. I've ended up going from India to Vietnam to now China. You understand that? Now I'm becoming well-travelled. Do you see what I mean, yeah? And and, and where, where did this come from, yeah? Not just studying um, language, yeah? But the studying of names, yeah? And, yes... Um, uh, the symbols, yeah, the symbols too, um, the symbols too, yeah, and yeah, I mean, numerology, when it comes to numbers, it's a universal language, and, and then you start, see, you learn that, and then you start taking notice, yeah, um, God's so sweet, and I mean, never too much, again, <laughs> When I slow down, sometimes I hear that, never too much, never too much. They're yeah, like, don't worry, yeah. When you when you start to, to, to look at the, 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 the numerologies, okay, the, what the numerologies start teaching you, yeah. You know, people get worried about studying these things. Like, Am I going to get in trouble? No, no, no. Listen, other people that are learning this, they're learning this for themselves. Yeah, you understand that, and their family, you get me. So no, when it comes to the, this big thing around this, I'm saying the conspiracy. Just stop it, all right. Learn about your family tree. So when it comes to the numerology, you see, then you start picking up on 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 the universal language now, not just the the, the various languages, but then you start to see what what um that symbol has been assigned here, yeah? what number. And then you, you start to understand how that fits you and where to move between that, yeah? Yeah, the bit in between. You start to understand, yeah? Right, I do this and this amounts to this. But in what way is it applying to my life, yeah? Yeah, 
the master's plan in it so that's what this has taught me and and that's how far i got with that now yeah um uh, chinese yeah, elements now and um and even some stuff was coming about up about the feng shui and i was saying to you well like will i actually understand the feng shui so i'm gonna keep going with this yeah and then see where it takes me um yeah amazing right it's amazing sometimes when it comes to these things as well yeah i don't stress myself like i've got to learn everything i've got to write every single thing down yeah no nah, no nah, this is channeling i take the bits yeah that are necessary for myself so i don't you know you, you want to learn a language or um you know yeah you want to do and see everything well well you you just start to understand um you start to understand the bits that you're absorbing, why you're absorbing them, and and and, and what they're actually intended for when you journey this seven eleven. So I am gonna end this here. Um, have a wonderful day, people. Yeah, and I will check back in with you in a bit. Um, what do you think you're gonna be doing in a bit? It's very likely. Yeah, I'm gonna be going back to to Sanskrit now. Yeah um but i'm definitely glad that i have i'm um, channeled and journeyed my way as far as um china now yeah um and something else i do really want to look into yeah is um persia yeah persia persia some people still call it persia some people call it um arania now yeah but um iran yeah iran but I was saying to you some time ago, I do, I do seem to do rather well here as well, yeah. Well, Sanskrit as well, yeah. Um, yeah, Indo-Aryan, yeah. Was was well, Sanskrit? You see, yes, Indian, the mother of all languages, yeah. But um, as well, it's descendants, yeah, too, yeah. I'm like myself, but um, Persia, yeah, Iran, um. Some people they speak this too here, right? Um, could this be a possibility as well? Yeah, but I want it like that. You could you could be Persian, yeah. I want to travel this all right, and um, I'm doing my father. Listen, the whole tree is my whole tree now. Like, I'm not even studying separately anymore. Like, my mother's fa um my mother's family tree, my father's family tree. No, I'm studying them together. Do you understand? Because this is me, yeah? See, they, they both make you. So, but the father, yeah, doing the father's family tree, that's interesting. That, that's that been interesting f for me, yeah? That really has, yeah, you are your father's seed, isn't it? Like how I could speak that language perfectly, yeah? And um, you can make me whole again, I'm hearing, yeah? I feel like a whole fucking person. I feel like a whole person again. Um, again, you know, yeah, 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 as is done in heaven shall be done on earth, so, where was I with this, oh, Persia, Iran, yeah, yeah some people speak this here, and I want to look into, um, I want to look into its people, yeah, and I'm seeing storylines, yeah, yeah, storylines, yeah, yeah, they also have stuff like hiero hieroglyphics and um yeah, long long history and behind them, I don't know if I spelled that right, they have a long history behind them. And um I was looking into this sometime before I can't remember what they call this ancient history yeah, and the people. Um but yeah, they was doing astrology and stuff from long time to people. Alright guys. All right, guys, I think I'm going to get a lot of information about, yeah, the sun and the image and egos here. That That's what I predict, yeah, going into, into um, Persia now, yeah. Um, the ancient Persia, yeah. Which probably is not so ancient no more. That's what it's like when you're studying um these kind of ancient things here they, they stop becoming yeah atlantis in it atlantis they, they they stop becoming 
um, they stop becoming so ancient, guys. <laughs> when you when you start to understand and look at these civilizations and how they lived and what worked and why did it work and, um, you know, and, and yeah, they, they, they definitely understood metals and industry and, and, and things like this. Um, the root, yeah, the root, okay, lovely, guys. Love you. Talk to you in a bit.